Hey everyone, and now we're going to continue our discussion of biopolymers and we're going to explore a new biopolymer and its proteins. Now, proteins are usually found in meat and if you're training in the gym, your coach usually advises you to eat a lot of proteins because it contributes to building of muscles and so on and so forth. So, proteins are made up of something called as amino acids and amino acids are also found in your body and in the plants in order to make proteins now to make proteins we add different types of amino acids together in order to form our protein polymer now let's see how that is done so here now amino acids are made up of nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and sometimes sulfur. So here we have four different amino acids. And they are different because the radical right there, this radical and this radical and this radical, they are different from each other. That's why they are different types of amino acids. The radical is the element not the element, but it's the group that differentiates between different amino acids. Now, here we have four different amino acids, and we react them together in order to form a protein. Now, in this reaction, it's a condensation polymerization reaction, and we're going to lose a water molecule. So, this is the water molecule that's going to be lost. So, we have one, two, three water molecules that are going to be lost. Now, the protein that's going to be formed is the following. Now, we can represent this reaction in a more simpler way. So, we can write it as the following, NH, and then we have a box which represents the backbone or the radical, and then we have the carbon double bonded to the O, and then we forgot about the OH, and then we bond it to the end right there and then another H and then another backbone so represent by a dotted box and then we have the carbon double bonded to the oxygen and then the nitrogen and then the third backbone so let's do it like this like crossed one to represent that it's a different backbone. So this is our protein. It's made up of different types of amino acids. That's why we have different backbones and different squares right there. And one no one thing to note in here is that we have this bond. And if you watch the video regarding nylon, you're going to know that this bond is called an amide bond. Now, one thing, the one last thing to note is that in order to make a protein, we put as much as 60 amino acids to 60,000 amino acids together in order to get our protein. And every time we add an amino acid, we lose a water molecule since it's a condensation polymerization. So that's it for making proteins. Let's recap. So in this video, we said that we're going to talk about making proteins and we said making proteins involves amino acids. So the addition of different amino acids and here in this reaction, we had four different types of amino acids and why they are different. As you see here, you, they kind of look alike, but the different thing is that the radical group in each of these amino acids is different. That's why we can differentiate. Now here we represented our reaction in a more simpler way and the boxes are different since they are different amino acids that make up this protein and we also noted that there's an amide bond between each box. Now that's it for this video. In the next video we're gonna be talking about fats so stay tuned and good luck.